most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, Brad, we're going to talk about how to stand correctly and pain-free with a herniated disc, comma, sciatica, comma, and back pain. They're all related. They're all related, yes. So let's jump right into it, Brad. So these are some quick adjustments for you to try. The big thing we don't want you doing, we're going to hold on to that, Brad, is we don't want you to basically just settle in. And, and that's... What happens, you, you're trying to hang on your ligaments to some extent, mm -hmm. and you start rounding out your upper back. Your lower back kind of slides slides forward because you're you're hanging on the, the ligaments of your hips. Sure. And your knees get locked. So you're kind of like this. Yep. Yep. And this is what I used to stand this way, believe it or not. <laughs> so one, you want to bring your hips back and your shoulders forward. So one way to do that is to make sure you're not locking your knees. Mm -hmm. So you want to bend your knees a little bit and putting one foot right in front of the other, that helps it, makes it harder to, to lean back. Sure. You know I mean, it makes you uh, more of an active position, yep. more of like an athletic position. So um, the other thing, I got an exercise here to try, Brad. You can actually do the butterfly exercise. Okay. So you take your, your hands and put them behind your, your neck. And you raise your elbows up, and then you open the wings of the butterfly, tuck your chin in. When we say tuck your chin in, we mean not going back like this, not going down like this, just tucking back. And then lower the arms. And that's right where your shoulders and neck and ears all should be aligned here. So yeah, it's a way to get you in proper alignment without looking in the mirror. Yeah, it's a good check, mm -hmm. uh, a checkup that you can, you know, every so often, just see where you're at yep. and pull things back. Another thing that you can do is you can go ahead and take your arms and because everybody tends to want to, again, round out after a while. Sure. You can actually stand with your arms behind you like this and yeah, and one hand grabbing the other wrist. And that's going to just keep you somewhat straight, keep the shoulders back. Right. Uh, over a long period of time. So you, you one foot in front of the other, knees unlocked, put the arms back like this, and you're, you're going to find yourself standing fairly straight. Sure. And I think one thing that I have people do, including myself, is work with your abdominals. If you tighten up your abdominal muscles slightly, that can change the position of your pelvis, which can change the, your back uh, position, which can – and you'll, you'll find out just by – Doing that, that may change your back pain from, oh, it hurts a little bit, tighten it up, oh, the pain's better. Yeah, very good point, Brad. You want to mess around with that. See what, what the comfortable position is for your pelvis. That's uh, probably one of the hardest things it's, for it, me it to is, teach patients. It is hard to understand. Because a lot of people don't have real good body awareness if they don't have a history of being in athletics or dance or, or something like that. But that is one thing that uh, you can work on. Sometimes we often start that on the bed, you know, working on your right. pelvis and right. work to that. Now, you can also use like a walking stick or the booyah stick, um, especially if you're going to stand for a while. You're going to find that it just, you know, a cane tends to lean over or a walker you tend to lean over on. But with a walking stick like this, you grab up and it actually is easier for you to stay in an upright position. Right. Typically, these are five foot long, so anything that is that long you know which walking sticks typically are uh much higher than a, than a cane and yeah, it gives you something and then you can kind of shift your weight which can be very right. helpful for uh back pain too um are we gonna yeah. talk about using putting one foot up you could sure what, do you, you want a stool oh, i'll yeah. grab a stool yeah this is one of those things like we'll talk about a lot of times with people if standing still and even if you're doing some of these things that it still bothers your back like doing dishes, if you open up the cupboard door and you shift your weight from one foot to the other, that can relieve pain. And you'll be this way for, you know, a few minutes, five minutes, and then you shift again this way or this position. It gives you three positions, which varies uh, that static st stress on your back. Yeah, I found out that that was really true when I used to stand at track meets. And no. I would just get my <laughs> foot up for a while and kind of like, just even stretch a little bit like this. Yep. It seemed like it made uh, a big difference. So, 
Give, give these things a try. See what works for you. But it's important. It's one more you know point of the day where we're trying to decrease your pain levels. Right. So and again, listen to your body. When your back is not hurting, chances are you're you're in the right position. Thanks for watching.